Hey everybody, it's Ed the Old Tech Guy, and today I was visiting a friend, and guess what they got sitting on their table? An Ecobee 3 Lite. <laughs> they need a little help installing it, and I didn't know I was going to come here and do this, or else I would have brought my camera equipment. So if this video doesn't come out with my usual hard work of trying to provide you a clean, clear video, I'm sorry. But the information is very timely. Let's open this box right after this. All right. And yes, I'm absolutely missing my tripod right now. So we're going to try to do this one handed, like just like in the old days, just like my first videos. Here you go. Look at that. It slides right open. Wonderful presentation by Ecobee. All right, and let's see if we, you know, look at that. That's very nice. And the Ecobee, um, according to the, to what it says here, is made in Taiwan. That's pretty cool. This has got a three-year limited warranty and works with most residential heating and cooling systems. What I like about the Ecobee is that right off the bat, it comes with a An adapter for four wire for a four wire install so if you've got four wires and you're missing your C wire the Ecobee comes with everything you need right in the box let's look at this right here look at that that's the Ecobee I'm gonna hold it right here give it a flip and there's nothing there so let's give it a flip here and there you go. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and some instructions. Okay. And here's the guy, right? So our, the heater we're going to be working with, or the heating system we're going to be working with, is a five-wire system, and it's missing the C wire, or four-wire. I'm sorry, it's a four-wire system, and it's missing the C wire. So here you go, one, two, three, four. You got everything you need, your red, green, yellow, and white. And we can adapt that to this system and have a modern thermostat on it. Let's see here. Ooh. Okay. Pretty cool. Now I'm I'm a I'm a good fan of the nest. Okay. Now this has got the level on it. I've only done a few eco bees. I'm a big fan of the nest, and I'm not sure how they hold up or how the warranty holds up and how customer service deals with everybody compared to the nest but i think it's pretty similar i haven't heard much difference between there are some complaints out there guys i will say that it's, google seems to have a better handle on customer service than ecobee but for the most part it's pretty much the same as well all right that's it that's all that's in the box nice and simple right guys all right let's get this thing installed Here's the original thermostat, guys. Now, don't be fooled. This isn't one of those old school mercury ones. <laughs> so, this po head pops right off. We're going to go ahead and shut that off right there. Let's shut, the yeah, it's off. Shut that to off. And we're going to pull the head out. There you go. And what we want to go ahead and make sure we record here is the position of all the wires so we've got our red in r we've got a jumper to from r to rc and we've got a um the green wire on g the white wire on w and the blue wire on yellow so instead of yellow we've got blue that's the only difference okay cool now that we've done that let's go check out the furnace all right guys a lot of furnace sounds down here okay so Hang tight. Like I said, this is ad hoc. Uh, 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 man. 
here's our wiring right here and it looks like this is a really older system this doesn't have a board with it but our wires for our thermostat seem to be coming right here you've got your green your blue your red and your white so and they go right into this guy this is probably giving us 24 volts right here and what we're going to do is now get the adapter get it wired into here plug these into the adapter and then go back go back upstairs and finish the ecob let's get that done all right before you go to the next step make sure you shut off your breaker okay but before you do that you better let your wife and friends know because they'll kill you if they're in the middle of something. All right, guys, there's lots of angles here, lots of angles. Just bear with me, okay? So what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and give the, these guys a little bit of a twist. All right, guys, that's how it looks now. In a few seconds, you will see how it's wired. Remember, these are where the wires go, and here's your red, here's your white, there's your green, here's your blue coming over here on the left, and they've got these other ones. There's no way I could do this without my tripod. So we will wire this guy in in just a second. It's going to take place of where those guys are. And those, these wires coming from the thermostat are going to go right into here. Okay? So hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So this is the way it should look. Right? So you remember we had our white, and now that goes up here in the W. We had our red, and it goes up here in the R. Our green goes right here in the middle. We've got our yellow coming up in here into the Y. And the C goes into this one here. So this transformer is providing voltage here constantly. And that would be your C. And right here we have the Ecob converter, right? Four wires to the five wires. And it's got a handy magnet. Man, you, you can't beat that. That's really cool that they do that. You just pop it up there. And now it's out of the way no problem and uh this guy's ready for us to go ahead and install the top part do some testing now before you do anything else i would absolutely especially dealing with one of these older systems with a transformer make sure you get a voltage meter and measure your voltage at each one make sure you're doing the right thing here if you're concerned about doing any of this call a professional make sure you're wired right because some of these transformers may not be putting out 24 volt they may be putting out 12 they may even be putting out um a, a voltage that could kill your new ecob so just be careful okay all right let's go check out the installation on the thermostat side all right here's the thermostat side apologize for the background noise so we're going to go ahead and start unscrewing these and you want to unscrew this and you want to unscrew this and you want to get all these cables free remember this is now these are now going into that converter on the bottom so it's changing the way these things work okay so here you go let's get this done all right and there you go comes off two screws the cables down it goes here's our wires four wires let's get this wired up And here you go, here's how we wired it. We went ahead and put the red on our C, the green on C, the yellow on W1, and the blue on PEK. The colors are not important. You just have to know where, where they go on the furnace, back up to here, and you have to match what they're supposed to do. Now the instructions tell you that once you use that adapter that we used in the furnace, these colors now mean something different right like your red would mean power for heating and your green would mean fan things of that nature that all has changed now because that adapter is using it differently it's using it more as a data conductive system it's passing data information so now all we have to do is go ahead and put this on the wall drill it on here make it neat and pretty and uh, see if we can get this thing going, okay? Let's try it out. Now you have this nice pretty level before I do that. Let me, let me stop myself here. You got this pretty level. Use that to level it and drill in the wall. Let's do that. All right, we've gone ahead and drilled you in and that's what it looks like. Nice and level, look at that. I didn't wanna bore you guys with the whole install of that. I mean, it's two screws. 
you see where the colors go and since the colors change depending on your system i i, I didn't want to confuse anybody so make sure you match your stuff up correctly now we do have this part right here that we we would have to paint and correct i'd rather paint it and make it look pretty than uh put that horrible white cover i hate that thing so let's go ahead and get this eco beyond and see if we can get our cooling going all right we're getting the high look at that please give the thermostat a few moments and guys that's it that's how you install an ecobee on a transformer on an ancient ancient unit um i don't know if i have enough time on this video to show you how to set up the software that'll have to be another video guys thanks very much this is ed the old tech guy telling you thanks please hit that like button subscribe throw me some comments if you like these kind of videos give me some more information okay tell me you like them tell me you don't like them i really need your feedback everybody i appreciate what you do appreciate you watching my videos this is ed the old tech guy signing out